And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. So while the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway, seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper when you're a striker. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Bad. Big leg kick land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Back to his feet. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Some of the action in that round, DC, there was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Round two here. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to... And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to burn one strike to end the night. Look at him working at 
trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful kick. Oh! Oh! I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, he oh! so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Lee. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because this guy knew that he had to finish this fight exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt. Found the follow-up shot. He got the finish.